Hey everybody, Farmer Trog, um, doing the share packing video this week, um, Thanksgiving week. Uh, you should all have your shares dropped off or dropped off shortly, and uh, so here's what's in them. Um, everybody's going to have potatoes, as we would, well, we're going to have these through the winter. Um, most of you will have a spaghetti squash or uh, acorn butternut squash. Um, you also, some of you will get an acorn squash as well, or on the other hand, a delicata squash as well. Um, the winter squash has finally, this is the last week of them, they've run out four weeks for all the shares. So we're just trying to get what's left into everybody's share there. Um, you also will either get a pumpkin, a pie pumpkin, or a Ziploc full of pie pumpkin, um, because not all of them are small enough to put in the boxes, and we've had to uh, not process, but cut some up to get them to you. Um, you use them the same way. You've got your uh, storage onion, which just means it's a, an onion that we had from over the summer, and now we're putting them in shares. What else? Uh, oh yeah, garlic. You've got garlic again this week. Both onion and garlic should go most of the winter as well. Um, you've got radishes. Let's skip the radishes for now. We've got turnips again, purple top turnips again. Um, we'll see how the weather goes. We've still got turnips in the field, so um, depending on the freezing of the soil and how long that goes uh, or how hard of a freeze it is, um, we'll keep pulling those turnips as well as the radishes and the Hakurai turnips. Now, I wanted to point something out here. I've had some people ask, well, Hakurai turnips versus the white radishes, what's the difference? Well, first, if you look at the leaves, the radishes are kind of rounded, whereas the Hakurai turnip leaves are kind of serrated like that. The other thing is the shape. Radishes are rounded, whereas a Hakurai is more of a heart shape, I would say, or a turnip shape. Um, and the Hakurai turnips are always white. There's just a few white radishes, but that's the difference. Also, the taste is uh, um, sweeter on the Hakurais. I know a couple of you were at the market, and uh, we had you taste them there. They're best fresh, but you can saute or uh, roast them as well. So everybody's got some Hakurai turnips, which are the sweet turnips. Um, we got a bunch of radishes as well. And then finally greens from the tunnel and these will continue as long as we can right now it looks like we'll be good in December unless it's really really cold um, and uh, because we can still cover things again inside the tunnel to keep them warm and then uh, as far as January February well there's really as long as weather holds out there's only that one delivery in January because holiday shares are December and January just four weeks um, but February, uh, it looks like we should still have greens. If not, it will just be a few weeks before they start regrowing because uh, right at the beginning of February, um, we get enough sun back to start regrowth on all the greens in the tunnels. Um, the uh, Let's see, what else was I going to tell you guys? Uh, in the uh, tunnel where the greens are growing, um, we also have broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and kohlrabi. Looks like the kohlrabi might be ready over the next few weeks. Uh, broccoli and cauliflower are going to be sitting through December and January, probably starting to fruit in February, maybe March. Depends on the weather and how much actual sunlight we get without clouds. But uh, they are not uh, pushing yet, and that means that they will not until we get some of that sunlight back. Brussels sprouts are going to be even later. These are really late or early Brussels sprouts. We seeded and planted them um, at the end of August and in September. So we weren't expecting Brussels sprouts for winter here. The Brussels sprout crops we had in the field, well, that was a different story. We talked about that before, about how the uh, uh, flea beetles and then the uh, <laughs> cabbage moths got to all of them. I am hoping to have uh, field cabbage in the shares before the holiday break. Um, also, uh, celery. We've got that in the field still. And, fingers crossed, um, there is broccoli in the field, late broccoli, that we're waiting to see if it's going to push out any more. If it does, we'll get those in shares. Um, other than that, shares should be very similar to what you're seeing, uh, minus the squash. 
Um, you'll still have some pumpkin on and off, at least through the new year. Um, and then we will also be putting a, a loaf of bread, uh, at least um, for the holiday shares, in the box, just to fill it out. And then starting uh, with the February shares, we will also start putting uh, our canned and frozen vegetables from the summer, as well as uh, jams and jellies and stuff like that. So that's the plan. Uh, what else is there? Remember, uh, this week was the last week of November shares. Um, if you have not paid for holiday shares, which would have been the September invoice, and you want the shares through December and into January, you need to take care of that. The next bill that comes out on the 30th of November will be for February shares. You know, it's that three months in advance thing. Um, there were no invoices for most of you in October. Some of you did because you were still signed up with last year's program, which is cool. But there were no invoices uh, for the three months in advance shares in October. Um, so they will be restarting this month, and that will be for February. Um, also remember holiday shares. At least the plan right now is the first three weeks of December. Then we're going to take off a couple weeks for the holidays. It's hard for everybody at that point to get food, for us to get food to you. Never know where everybody's going to be. Um, the last of the holiday shares will occur after the new year. It should be the second week of January, but that all depends on the weather. Um, I mean, if it's going to snow, if it's going to be freezing rain, I'm going to stall it because I don't want to drive anywhere around the suburbs um, going door to door while that's going on. Uh, but otherwise, that's the plan for holiday shares. Like I said, first three weeks of December, then one in January, that's AB, AB. Um, and then we start up the uh, first full week, I believe, of February with regularly scheduled, and that goes from February until our June break. Um, so that's the deal. I know a couple people are taking the winter off to not get as much carbs. We'll let you know when uh, the bread has been pulled out of the shares. Right now it's looking like maybe February. If not, it'll be March. Everything looks great in the tunnels. Um, and uh, remember, we do take signups whenever. I know we have at least two new shareholders starting in December. We have new shareholders started in uh, November. So there's no problem. If anybody needs to drop or needs to sign back up or has friends that want to sign up, just give us an email or a call. Um, last thing is that... Uh, I hopefully today or Friday, I know, um, because Thanksgiving's in the way there, I'm going to try to get order forms up or the store set up so you can order uh, the chickens that we just had processed, um, the pasture-raised chickens that we did this year. We've got, oh gosh, I think 55, 60 of those birds that we uh, just got in October. Um, also, to have extra potatoes or um, if you want to order a 50-pound bag. I think it's a 50 pound bag of potatoes. We'll have that available as well. And then also cranberries. We just got the cranberries. Marcy's starting to uh, sell them at markets. That was last week, I think. Um, and we're um, using the cram fresh cranberries for Thanksgiving stuff. So we will have that available in uh, at markets, which is the second Saturday of the month in Huntley. We'll have them per pound um, for special order to be dropped with shares or um, at shareholders' houses for pickup. Uh, I think we're going to go with five pound minimum, um, but I have to check that. But we'll get this all together hopefully in the next few days, and then uh, the first two weeks of December we can start getting that to you. Um, potatoes and chickens can be ordered whenever. Uh, the chickens are ranging from about three and a half pounds to I think we actually hit a six and a half pounder. Um, so that'll just be about how many pounds you want, and we'll try to find a chicken. Uh, we're selling the chickens for $4 a pound. They are not organic fed. Um, they are all out on pasture, eating the clover, the bugs, the grass. We move them every day, so they all have fresh stuff. And then they do get grain. Um, it's just a standard grain mix that we get at the farm and fleet for right now. And, uh, that's what we have. Um... We haven't gone with the organic feed yet because it's a lot more money and we want to see what the market's going to be for this stuff. I also don't want to price people out 
of getting chick pasture raised chickens just because it's organic feed. So I think next year we may have both types and uh, feed one section of birds the regular feed and one the organic so that if you want the organic fed pasture chickens we'll have those available hopefully next year um, and I know some people have asked about pork we have to go through our freezer with the pork um, over the last uh, five six weeks we've been trying to redo our kitchen so that we can process foods more foods faster and quicker for you guys and for markets and so uh, the freezer has been put on the back burner as far as in our heads, but we'll let you know about that. Um, we haven't been able to process any new pork because of the COVID stuff. All of the slaughterhouses and processors are backed up. We don't even couldn't even get an appointment when we scheduled in the spring until spring 2020. So that's why there's no more pork there. Um, we will have, I think, two pigs going in in the spring. Um, I think that's all. I know this was long. Happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe and uh, see everybody soon, hopefully. All right. Bye.